Spring has sprung. From spring cleaning to seeding your garden, this is the busiest time of the year. But the part we're most excited for is hatching our first group of chicks. Let's go over what you need to know about hatching your own chicks at home. Hi, I'm Alyssa from Southland Organics, where our priority is providing natural solutions to natural problems, including proper chicken nutrition. In one of our last videos, we talked about how to tell if the eggs coming from your coop are fertile. It's as simple as cracking open an egg and evaluating the yolk for an external portion referred to as the blastoderm. In an infertile egg, this will appear as a solid white dot. If the eggs are fertile, the dot will be transparent in the center, kind of like a Cheerio. This is considered the blastoderm and contains the first cell of the newly developing chick. But we already talked about all that. Today, we wanna to talk about the next 21 days until your homegrown chicks hatch. Yes, you heard me right, just 21 days. There are just a couple of things you need to hatch your own chicks at home. First is choosing an incubator. There are tons of these available in stores and online. I prefer one with a built-in temperature and humidity gauge, the ability to turn the eggs automatically so you aren't spending too much time doing that by hand, and a viewing window so you can watch the magic happen. Next is choosing the right eggs to incubate. Lots of factors can affect the hatchability of home eggs. You want eggs that are average size and nicely shaped. Try to stay away from anything that's too elongated or super round. This will make sure that the growing embryo has room to do its thing. Some studies show that floor or ground eggs have lower hatching rates than those laid in nest boxes. So if you're able to, try to use the eggs you find in your nests. You can store eggs for about seven days, which means that you don't have to incubate them immediately. You have about a week to choose the eggs you want to incubate. After seven days of storage though, eggs are not fresh enough to incubate successfully. About 24 hours before you're ready to place your eggs, let your incubator start heating up. This will give it the time to reach an optimal temperature and humidity before fertile eggs are present. These parameters change a bit based on the type of incubator you'll be using, so be sure to read the instructions for your incubator. When you're ready to start incubating, make sure you place the pointed end of the egg down. This ensures that the air cell is on top and that your chicks will hatch in the right direction. Now this is where the real magic starts to happen. The first two weeks of incubation are a time of extremely rapid growth. In just three days, the circulatory system will become established. And by day four, the brain and body become distinguishable from one another. On day six, wing development is taking off and the egg tooth that will allow the chick to break out of the egg is beginning to develop. By day eight, the wings, feet, and toes are well developed and you can start to see feather tracks on the growing embryo's back. And on day nine, down feathers appear. Calcification of the bones begins on day 12, and on day 13, you can start to see some scales on the legs. Sometime between days 9 and 13 is a great time to candle your eggs to ensure that the embryo is developing. To do this, simply ensure that the room is dark and place a bright light on the shell surface. You can use a candler or just a flashlight. You should be able to see some developing structures which can assure you that incubation has successfully started. The last week of incubation allows the developing chick to grow extremely rapidly and assume a hatching position. This is also the time frame in which the remaining yolk sac, which will provide nutrition for the first 24 hours after hatching, is absorbed into the body. On day 20, you should start to see your chicks pipping. This is when the developed embryo uses its egg tooth to break through the air cell and the shell. This is also a great time to start setting up for your freshly hatched chicks. You'll need some supplies like feeders, waterers, a heat source, and some chick starter. But you can learn all about that in our video about caring for day old chicks. Day 21 is hatch day. It may take up to a day for the chicks to completely hatch, but that's okay. When they first break out, they'll be wet and honestly look a little gross. But leave them in the incubator for 24 to 36 hours to dry completely, and they'll start looking like the fluffy new friends you were expecting. If you collected eggs over a couple of days, there may be some chicks that hatch a little later. This is completely normal. They're very serious about their 21 day schedule. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about hatching your chicks at home. We are so excited to hatch our first group of chicks this spring and even more excited to bring you along on this adventure. You can find more information on raising backyard chickens and some natural products to help you along the way at southlandorganics.com. We'll drop the link below. 
If you have any questions about hatching chicks or any of our products, comment on this video, shoot us an email at success at southinorganics.com or call us at 800-608-3755. Be sure to subscribe to get updated on our latest chicken raising tips and tricks and product updates. Thank you for watching.